Thanks for tuning in to this Austin 360 studio session presented by Bud Light and Ticket City. I'm your host, Serena Hicks, and I'm super excited for today's guest, Dreamers. Yeah. They're here, they're awesome, and without further ado, here's Dreamers. Thank you very much. Hello, people of the studio audience. Hello, people of the world and the internet. We're Dreamers, as she said, and uh, we're going to get right to it. We're going to do a song. This is the first song that we ever put out um, as a band. It's a song about how people kind of drag you into their world, especially if you care about them, and if you hang out with someone a lot, you'll end up becoming like them. This song is called Wolves. <laughs> me brainwashed Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. 
So I was just saying earlier, our collective spirit animal as a band is, is the wolf. Because of that, I had a little wolf pendant necklace when I was 10 years old. And I found it, like, again, right after writing that song. And I was like, ah, it's the wolf. It still has come it. back to me. I still have it. And then that was the first song that we had that ever got on the radio. I was like, okay, the wolf is guiding me here. Uh, clearly. Um, uh, and like that, Wolves Howl at the Moon, the moon is a symbol of our band of dreamers because the moon represents the night, which is the time when you dream. It also represents the goal, like the moonshot. So uh, that's what dreamers, the dreamers uh, symbol is. Um, <laughs> this next song is kind of about that, um, and it's called Little New Moon. I'm the one, you're the one, I'm the favorite son. I'm the sky, you're the moon, I'm the setting sun. Make a move, follow through, come and run away. What's your name, what's the game that you come to play? I'm the one, you're the one, I'm the favorite son. I'm the sky, you're the moon, I'm the setting sun. Make a move, follow through, come and run away. What's your name, what's the game? Lights looking for something new. You better hold me closely, cause no one knows me. Latch me on to you. Little new moon lights my way to oblivion. Hold me closely, no one knows me. Latch me on to you. Thank you. All right. Let's see. We're going down to D now, right? We are. We're going to drop it down to drop D. For those of you musicians and music insiders, you know what that means. We're going to play our new single. This is a song uh, you can hear on a radio station near you. Uh, it's a song about how sometimes love hurts so bad and so good at the same time. And uh, yet we keep coming back to it. Uh, and it's called Painkiller. 
fix my heart, leave me on the floor. Hurts like hell, she's a painkiller. Woke up on the bedroom floor with a bottle rocket in my head. Strung out and I'm almost gone, but I'm coming after you again. It was nice to meet you, coming to see you, walking the streets after midnight. Feel my bloodstream, Halloween daydream, baby, come make me all right. Whoa, it's a long, long way down. Walking the streets after midnight Feel my bloodstream, Halloween daydream Baby, come make me alright Whoa, it's a long, long way Thank you. All right, so uh, we're going to keep it brief here. We just have one more song to do. How you guys doing today? You doing well? Good. How'd you get in here? Did you win a lottery? Is that how it works? How does it feel to be a winner? Good. Hey, you guys are great. You would never know that it's Monday and that it's... Uh like noon on Monday. Just the energy's good. Energy's good. Yes. <laughs> Y'all like Jolly Ranchers? Because I got some <laughs> in the back. They gave us a bowl like this big full of Jolly Ranchers in our green room. It's like, I, there's no way we're going to go through all these. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll share. Phys physically not enough time. Um, I injure myself every time I put one of those in my mouth. Yeah, they're Somehow it stabs me in the gums. So yeah. I want to give them to you guys. <laughs> I have that with... Uh, Are we sponsored by Jolly Ranchers? I have that with Captain Crunch, actually. Yeah. Wonderful cereal, but it just... It, I always you pay for it myself. the next day. Yeah. It hurts, hurts the mouth? I'm like bleeding by the end of a bowl of it. I don't know. Yeah. We're you got to have... <laughs> Maybe you should see someone about that. Sorry, this is so <laughs> stupid. 
All right. That's what they call a stage banter. Exactly. Yeah. All right. That's what it's like to live in our lives in the van. Yeah. All right, we're going to do a song. Uh, this is a song about uh, growing up a little bit, about dreaming, about being in a band. Uh, I wrote this song after a night of champagne drinking with someone who I love. And uh, we kind of, it's kind of about how sometimes it feels best to let yourself fall apart and not care so much. And it's called Sweet Disaster for that reason. Drifting like it's 1974, dressing like the Rolling Stones. Hey ho, let's go get some more like young Ramones. Some nights feel like every night, this one feels brand new. Only got bad things on my mind when I'm with you. And so it goes, we found our sweet. It's 1984, dancing like the talking heads. Last call, 40s at the corner store to take to bed. Tell me that you need me on the floor, pass out in your dirty clothes. Ask me what the hell I'm looking for, like you don't know. You're making it so easy. feel like every night this one feels brand new only got bad things on my mind when i'm with you and so it goes we found our sweet disaster Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great job, guys. Thank you. I kind of wish you could stay and play 20 more songs. Oh, yeah, we do too. Yeah, right. <laughs> On a Monday morning. If only our Austin show tonight, we played last night. Ah. We should all go back in time and come out. It's funny that you bring that up because I was going to read you. Rosie L. Esperanza said, We saw you guys last night and uh -huh. love your set. Can't wait to dive into the album. Thank you, Rosie. Mm. You're Thanks, beautiful. Rosie. You're so sweet to us. Yay, Rosie. <laughs> uh, well, that makes me want to just jump right in and say, let's talk about the next album. Great, let's do it. OK, when is it coming out? I don't know. We don't know. Good, <laughs> good honesty, uh, Jacob. No, We're still our, working on it. That's yeah. a good start. 
the album is written. We've managed to, while touring this year, we've managed to write like 50 songs. So we have a lot of songs we're super happy about. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a really long album. No, the album's only going to be, <laughs> you know, like 12 of them. Yeah. Okay. I was like, maybe we could get a double album. There's going to be album and many other songs released, we think. Yeah. But uh, we have to get off of this tour, hit the studio, and start recording. So stay tuned. Okay. Early we next year, probably, we'll start having new stuff probably coming out. Exactly. Yeah. No pressure. We just yeah. really want it. <laughs> oh, no, pressure. We're, we're, yes, stoked. we're stoked on it. We yeah. actually want to release all 50 songs. Right now. But you have to be Red Hot Chili Peppers these days to get away with a double record. So. Right. All right. So we're going to have to become Red Hot Chili Peppers. So I have to take off my shirt and get a bunch of tribal tats. Exactly. Going to grow your hair out, So too. that we can release all the songs. <laughs> cool. Well, we're halfway there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Um, really quick question, because before we were live on air talking to Nick, I realized he knows a lot about Austin. Do you come here often? Do you just troll yeah. the internet? What goes on? How this do you know about Fasten? This ain't our first rodeo. We do business here. We've been in, yeah, we've all been in bands <laughs> for our whole adult lives. Um, played South by Southwest like four times, played other shows like countless amount of times, and Austin is always a really great vibe, so. Okay, so let's talk about food. Jacob, I'll start with you. Favorite food I in love Austin? It. I love food. Excellent. Excellent. I'm for it. Do you have a your for food? Good. Yeah. Do you I have food? Do you have like a breakfast taco place in Austin that you've been to or no pizza? Do you? Do you want to go? Yeah, I I had spent a lot of time at Torchies. Oh, you, you, beat me, you beat me to it. Someone already. recommended yeah. Torchies, Torchies to last night. Last time we were here, we ate P. Terry's in the middle of the night. We like P. Terry's. Yeah. 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 They had a breakfast burger, but they wouldn't serve it to me because it was past the time. It was the wrong it, day. It was the wrong day and time. It was really sad. I wish I could remember the name, so, but I ate Indian, East Indian themed tacos that were super good. Mm. Hey, what was that place Nasha? we ate last night? Is that it? All right. What Thank was it? You. Nasha. Mm. Thanks, Lindsay. Eli. Okay. What was that place we ate last night? That was really good. Oh, okay, that begs the question, Magnolia Cafe versus Kirby Lane, oh, which is yeah. much like Coke versus Pepsi. That's exactly right. what we I was hearing all Lane, night. I think. Yeah. Our, the Uber driver was saying stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Did, have you guys been to Kirby Lane? I have not been. I think I have. Can I, you? It silly rings a bell. Last time we were here, it was total, totally a blur. We played South by Southwest. We were playing like three shows a day, plus like acoustic performances in between. I got sick. It was just like, I can't remember really anything. There is a lot of that in Austin where we'll just be on the street and be like, oh, yeah, this is the street where there's that place that on that night. But we don't really remember the details. We need to spend like an actual week here. Yeah. It's like I has Alzheimer's. We just kind of wander around. We just live our oh, lives. Austin kind of has a yeah. way of doing that, too. Honestly, we, it does. We, we come, you know, we always plan around Austin. We try to get like a night off to relax. They're like, oh, like, let's, let's take our, let's get as much time as we can in Austin to relax, which means, you know, just raging, honestly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Welcome to Austin. Exactly. We love um, it. There are recording studios here. If you guys decide to work on that 50 song situation, maybe that would give you time to relax. Just an idea. I appreciate the offer. You're welcome. We went to a studio here once. It was during South By. Yeah. Uh, the guy from the Entourage. What's his name? Adrian. Adrian. Grenier. Yeah. Oh, that he guy. He invited us over to play his place. They had like a band series in this really yeah, It was really studio. fun. I wish I could remember what the studio was called. I wish I'd been there. <laughs> like Adrian Grenier and Dreamers. Whoa. Yes. Okay. Let me check the interwebs on Facebook. Your fans are basically just saying how much they love you. I don't have a lot of questions coming in awesome. here, so let me see. We love, we love you back. Yes, we do. A lot of love. Um, Jen Nelson says hi. That's, that's, that's my wife. wife. That's about that a half. Hey, girl, hey. Does she count as a fan? Wifey is a fan. She's oh, so trust me. She, she definitely counts as a fan. Yeah. You have to be, honestly. You have to be a really big fan. Yeah. To put up I with love it. you, baby. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for everything you tolerate. You just painted a picture <laughs> in my mind. Let's talk about it. You guys mentioned something about, haha, life on our tour van. What, what's going on? Sprinter, 10 passenger van. Oh, paint. you don't want to know. Big. No, yeah. I do because I suspect it is interesting. No, uh, there was someone who was helping us out this morning and our doors were open. She got to see inside. She it's, had a horrible not... face. <laughs> she was like, "What has happened to you guys?" Yeah, it's it's a big it's a big van. There's a bed in the back area. It's a big trailer which carries. We're adding on. Stuff. We, yeah, our last van was for a 1995 Ford though, 
that was vintage. I was to joke he was old enough to party because he was, mm. 20, it was 21 old. years old. It yeah. is? Wow. But our new van is, is new, so we've upgraded. Okay. From to the 2015, it's a 20 year upgrade. It means we have working air conditioning now, which is really working air it's conditioning. Uh, little sensors that tell us when our air pressure is low in our tires. Hello. It took 20 it's years to develop stuff. these things. Next it's, it's, level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not so a Tesla. It's not, not yet. No. Not, not yet. yet. I will look forward to the next time we have you on the show and you guys are like, we need to know where to park our tour bus. And First okay. Tesla tour bus. Tesla That's going to happen. Bus. Yeah. That's what we're all about. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so let's talk about where people can connect with you if they're not already fans. We've got some new fans going. So where can they find you? Where do you talk most on the interwebs? Yeah. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. <laughs> Just friend us on LinkedIn. Now we have uh, our handle across platforms is Dreamers Join Us, one word. Awesome. Kind of so, like uh, John Lennon. You may say I'm a dreamer. Perhaps one day you'll join us. Uh, so join us. It's an invitation we have, to all dreamers. We literally we have all of them. We have uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, everything. You Even know. the ones that you've probably never heard of. Like LinkedIn. Like Zanga. LinkedIn. Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So dreamers, join us if you want to connect with these guys. I have to wrap us up. Huge thank you to you guys, dreamers. You guys are thank amazing. You. Thank you. Thanks thank so you much for, for having us. Tuning in. Yeah. Thanks to our sponsor, Bud Light. This was another Austin 360 studio session. Thanks and talk to you guys next time. Thank you all. Yes.